Get ready, these books will sweep you off your feet. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 young adult romance novels from the 2010s. I had never missed a flight before in my life. Not once. I was four minutes late, which doesn't seem like all that much when you think about it. I mean, it's a commercial break, or a pull between classes. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at contemporary fiction from the 2010s so far, and excluding books that contain or would be categorized mainly as science fiction or fantasy. Who would have guessed that that four minutes could change everything? Number 10, Everything, Everything, Nicola Yoon. Teenage Maddie has spent most of her life stuck within the confines of her house. Since she's being treated for severe combined immunodeficiency, Maddie must stay indoors or risk getting deathly sick. For the most part, this hasn't been a problem for her, but when Ollie and his family move in next door, Maddie finds herself with a friend who's willing to brave the wrath of Maddie's mother and hang out with her. Where would you go if you could? The ocean. Faced with either giving up her new relationship or plucking up the courage to go out into the world though it might kill her, Maddie makes a decision that changes her whole life. I should tell you we shouldn't push our luck, but I can't. I don't want to. Are you sure? Number 9. When Dimple Met Rishi, Sandhya Menon. For most people, an arranged marriage isn't exactly something to get excited about. And Dimple, your average Indian-American teenager, is no exception. But being at home was starting to feel like wearing an iron corset, painful and breathless and pinchy in all the wrong places. Although she had to hand it to them, sending her here was unprecedented. When her parents send her off to web development summer camp, she eventually realizes the whole thing is a setup to meet Rishi, a boy who actually likes the idea of being arranged. What ensues is outright hilarious, and the two characters have to learn to balance tradition and parental expectation with the pursuit of their own dreams, as well as how those things all coalesce into a feeling something like love. I want you to have a happy home one day, she squeezed Dimple, but only when you are ready. Betty, I am not disappointed. I am sad for what I see in your eyes, in your silence. Very deep sorrow. Tu musse pyar kateo, na? You love him, don't you? Number 8. Just One Day, Gail Foreman. Life after high school can be quite the adventure. For some people, like Allison Lulu Healy, that involves travel. She heads off to Europe, where she meets the hypnotic Willem, who spends a whirlwind day with her in Paris. Just as Allison is ready to stand up and declare her love for this boy she's known for all of a day, Willem disappears. In what could be a cautionary tale against falling for strangers, Allison instead decides after a few months back home that she will put everything she has into tracking Willem down. It's a book that explores the uncertainty of romantic feelings and how they can lead you to find yourself. Number 7. Everything Leads to You Nina LaCour Emmy has a dream. She wants to break into the world of Hollywood films, and in the first major step towards her goal, she becomes a set designer for a small but important production. The longer she's involved in the film world, the more she realizes that on-screen romance is just that, on screen. Struggling with her love life, she keeps going back to the same girl who keeps breaking her heart. But she eventually meets Ava, who shows her that love is a messy and complicated thing. With huge importance also placed on family, this book juggles so many plot threads and ideas that it's worthy of its Hollywood setting. Number 6. Anna and the French Kiss, Stephanie Perkins If you didn't already want to move to Paris, this book will make you start packing your bags. Anna, much to her disgruntlement, is forced to go to boarding school in the famed French capital, leaving behind her best friend and her crush. A devastating thing for any teen, Things are made worse when she begins to feel like a bit of an outsider with her new friends, who all have a history with one another. But cute, cute boy Etienne Saint Clair. Sparks start to fly, and the move to Paris suddenly doesn't seem that bad to Anna. With his stunning looks and charming personality, it's no wonder Anna falls so hard for him. Number 5. I'll Give You the Sun, Jandy Nelson. This book sure has a lot going on. The complexity makes the relationship that twins Jude and Noah have with their crushes all the more intense. 
Jude likes the attention of her peers, while her brother Noah is ashamed of being gay. Later, after the death of their mother, the twins completely change. As the story progresses, secrets start to spill out, and it makes the romances all the more sweet when they happen. Noah finally gets to be with a boy he likes, and Jude finds that art and love are easily intertwined. It's beautifully written and so vivid that it'll stick with readers long after the last page. Number 4. The Fault in Our Stars – John Green This novel made such a splash in the world of YA fiction that the genre hasn't been the same since. Easily one of his best books, John Green sets the bar high with the story of star-crossed teens Hazel and Augustus, who meet at a cancer support group. Literally. I thought we were in a church basement, but apparently we were literally in the heart of Jesus. It's a book that could easily have been a difficult and depressing read, but with its humor and sense of adventure, it turns out that the story of Hazel and Augustus is anything but. I'm okay. With a trip to Amsterdam, a love of reading, and a pre-funeral, Hazel and Augustus share an incredible few months that prove that anyone can find love, even in the darkest of places. You gave me it forever. Within the numbered days. And for that I am... I am eternally grateful. Number 3. Eleanor and Park – Rainbow Rowell Riding the bus to school every day is hell for bullied teen Eleanor. She comes from a poor family, she's chubby, and she looks odd in her patched up clothes. When Park, a quiet kid, offers her a seat on a day the bullying is particularly bad, it changes both of their lives forever. Connecting via comics and mixtapes, the two begin to see beyond stereotypes and expectations, making this a persistent romance that proves that teenagers are willing and able to go above and beyond for the people they love. Approaching subjects like domestic abuse and body image, it's a book worth reading for much more than just the romance. Number 2. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda – Becky Albertalli Filling a gap in teen LGBT romances, this book is sweet and awkward and crazy relatable. You get to exhale now, Simon. You get to be more you than you have been in in a very long time. Having a secret crush is bad enough, but Simon finds himself in a terrible situation when a classmate finds out about his sexuality and online relationship with a kid called Blue and blackmails him. I mean, what, what are you gonna do? You're gonna tell the whole school that I'm... You're gonna leak my emails? You're gonna okay. post them on Greek secrets? I just think that we're in a position here where we can help each other out as well. It's a coming-of-age novel that focuses on someone's right to come out how and when they want to. It also keeps readers entertained with the cute emails between Simon and Blue, and the often philosophical questions they ask each other. Why is straight the default? I have something I need to tell you. Mom, there's something I have to tell you. Can, can we talk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm straight. I'm straight. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I appreciate it, but it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry, what? I think it's really cool that you think I have golden specks in my eyes. It's just, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god. The letters are out. Number 1. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe Benjamin Alira Signs Written in a series of short chapters, this book follows the story of a pair of Mexican-American boys who struggle with their identities. Whether it's about their race or their sexuality, the two must face certain truths about themselves and each other. With its astonishingly beautiful prose and themes that border on being too big to grasp, this novel deserves its many accolades. An important step in diverse representation in young adult literature, it's an exploration of two boys who are best friends, who try new things, and who, together and apart, begin discovering the secrets of the universe.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.